I went shopping. Do you want to see? Let's go. Hello, dearies. I'm LaFay. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you're new here and you don't know, I am on an adventure to leave 100 pounds in my past. If you are interested in following along on my adventure, hearing the crazy thoughts that happen in my brain, and find out how I've lost over 60 pounds, please be sure and subscribe before you leave. Also, if you want to continue hanging out with me, please be sure to check me up on my socials. I have Instagram, and on Instagram, I have been trying to share what I eat almost every single day. So if you're interested in what's actually going in my throat hole, check me out on Instagram and also on Fitbit. Fitbit is so fun. I like to do challenges a couple of times a month and we just have so much fun motivating each other. So find me there as well if you Fitbit. After I uploaded my video on Friday announcing my arrival to Wonderland, it hit me that I really don't have anything to wear. And I initially was okay with kind of being like, you know what, I'm just going to rotate the same five things until I literally have only one thing that I can wear to the store to buy more. Except something changed. Something kind of exciting. As I have mentioned before, in probably almost every other video, I am a substitute teacher. I like to think of myself as a professional guest teacher. Thank you very much. I found an opportunity to be a permanent building substitute for the entire school year, guaranteed work every single day, and I took it. I am so excited. Uh, my first day is September 8th and I am counting down the days. I can't wait. On Friday is when I realized that LaFay, you're going back to work and you have nothing professional that fits. So I dropped my son off at my mom's house and I went shopping. I went to the thrift store and spoiler alert, spoiler alert scored big time at the thrift store and then also went over to Kohl's and I just got I needed like foundational item at Kohl's so let me pop in right here the haul that was just a quick glimpse of what I scored. Now let's head over to my closet. Welcome to my closet. I will open this up and show you everything that I am working with. Please keep in mind that I was 260 pounds up until about two years ago. I lost to 230, maintained that for a couple of years and starting June of this year I was 230 pounds and am currently 195 pounds. So this closet has had to go through changes. <laughs> and going back to work, I will be working in a middle school, so that is along with teacher colleagues, I will also be with 6th, 7th and 8th graders. So keep that in mind too. And here we go. Ta-da! This is it. This is literally everything that I own to wear on my body, except for my coats. Those are downstairs in the front closet. And yes, th that even includes all of my foundational garments. I don't like dressers. <laughs> I like to hang everything up. It is all in here. So let me start from here and I'll work my way that way. We're gonna start off with this hanger right here. It has my sports bras and bathing suits on it. And also 
since I didn't know where else to put it, this belt. I got this belt on Friday with my little shopping spree and I haven't owned one of these belts in quite a few years because I was always afraid it would look make me look pregnant. And on Friday, I was able to get me one from Kohl's, so not a plus size store. And there's a, there's a couple of reasons why I got it. I'll show you. One of them is sitting in here. But my my husband has also been telling me, babe, get a belt because when things get baggy, you can always cinch them in to make them last a little bit longer because he knows how much I like to be frugal when it comes to clothes. So I have the belt to help with everything. This is a shirt that I purchased from Torrid quite a few years, two, three years ago. It's a size two and it is absolutely way too big on me now. I've been using it this summer as a bathing suit cover because it's perfect for that. This hanger is where my bras go. I still need to get some new ones, but also my tank tops hang on this hanger. This, ladies, gents, humans of all kinds, is a pair of size 14 jeans that fits me. Size 14! This was a dollar. I can use these for casual Friday. You've seen me wear these before. I, these are leggings that I wear when I take my, my monthly pictures, and I love these leggings. They're my favorite thing ever. They're laced up the side, so you know, you see you see my leg. These have a bit of a story. Hang, hang with me for a second. I purchased these on my brother's wedding day in 2017. That was the day that this picture changed my life. That picture was the one that was the reflection that made me really look at myself and know that I needed to change. I was 260 pounds in that photograph and when I purchased these leggings. These are a torrid size one. They did not fit me, but I squeezed my chubby butt into them anyway and forced myself to wear them even though I had to keep pulling them up and stuff. Now they fit me wonderfully, almost too big, but they're comfortable. They have a nice tightness to them, which I love. Like I'm wearing Spanx right now. I love it. <laughs> I love feeling that little bit of a hug. Now I know what you're thinking, LaFay, showing laced up leg is not very school appropriate. You can't wear those to work. En contraire, mon ami. At Kohl's on Friday, I picked myself up a few legging options. We have ones you can kind of see through, ones that are completely opaque. Plus these ones that have like stars on them, they are so cute. Oh, so I have these leggings and and tights, which I can wear a pair of those underneath these so that it's appropriate and cool. This is a standard pair of black work type professional pants, size 16. I got these from the thrift store. I don't know the brand. I also have a pair, I also have a size 14 pair of black pants so that I can travel between the sizes. Y'all have seen me in my purple shirt, right? This is this is one that me, my mom got for me last year maybe or the year before and it was snug. It was almost not comfortable to wear but now it's almost too big. It's so fun. It, it keeps the spirit alive all year round. This was a thrift store score years ago. I've had this shirt for years. This is where when I'm going out and I don't want to be so totally exposed with a tank top then I just throw this on top. It's just a good quick cover and it, this lace detail is amazing. From Friday at the thrift store, this lovely lace top that is a limited, yeah, the limited, isn't that like an, a, an expensive brand or something? I don't know. It is a size large. It is a wee bit snug on me, but not so much that it would be weird if I had this on and wore a blazer or a cover or something over it. It would totally work. So this is also from the thrift store shop on Friday. This cute gray top that has the most interesting sleeves. They're kind of like a cut open bell. So cute. And it's an, an extra large. Earlier this summer, my husband needed to get some summer clothes. And we went to Kohl's. Well, we went to the store and to Kohl's. And when we were at Kohl's, we were shopping the clearance section because they had tons of stuff. And I happened to look over across the way and I saw this. This was on sale. It's a one size fits all and it fit me. Just a lace cover. Here's another cover. I've had this one for years. I think I've worn it in a video or two. It's just a nice, fun way to dress up a look. This right here. 
this is how I knew that my shopping at the thrift store was going to be amazing because this amazing blazer was waiting for me right in the front door. I, I walked in to the thrift store and this little number was right there on my left calling me, LaFay, LaFay, I'm here. I've been waiting for you. Take me home and live your best Beetlejuice Tim Burton life. I've been waiting my whole life for something this awesome, dearies, especially since this is brand new with the tags on it. It is Avenue, which is a plus size store. So if you don't have an Avenue by you, you can look them up online. They have great style. It's a size 14, 16 in, in Avenue. It has shoulder pads, but I think I'm okay with it. I only paid $15 for something brand new. <sighs> I need to get some more hangers. It's on the list. This has three things on it. The first is, this is uh, from Torrid from years and years and years ago. I can't even tell you how long I've had this top. So it's a size one in Torrid and it's a bit big on me, but I'm hoping that with the cinchy belt and covers and stuff, I can kind of make it last. I just, I love the lace that's on it. This skirt, this pencil skirt, which is like a faux leather with like a stretchy back on it. This is also from Torrid. I got this two, three years ago. It must have been over three years ago that I purchased this and then promptly got too fat to wear it. It just, it just barely fit me when I bought it and I never got to wear it. I, I did not take the tags off of this skirt until Friday when I was going through everything and trying everything on. So it's a Torrid Rebel Wilson, probably size one, a Torrid size one. You can't get it anymore. It's a couple years old. I am so excited to wear this. And this cute flared walking skirt is one that I scored on Friday at the thrift store. It's a size 16. This is the second most amazing thing that I found on Friday's dairies. Remember how I said that we went, my husband and I went to Kohl's earlier this summer? Well, I saw this dress when we were there earlier this summer, but it was a small. And I wasn't even going to buy it because I knew I'm, I'm never going to fit into a small. Even at my most disordered eating smallness, I was a medium. Small is not in the cards for this German body. And I'm fine with that. But when I went to Kohl's on Friday, I got her. I am living my best Wednesday Adams li life. And she's perfect. She's amazing. She is an extra large. It's a little bit big. That's where the belt comes from. I know that Wednesday didn't cinch her waist, but I do. I have three more dresses. This is a size 16 hand-me-down from a neighbor. I've had this for five years, probably, and I love it. I love the silhouette, kind of 40s. This is a cute Torrid dress. I got this last year from Torrid. It's a size two. It is decidedly too big for me at this point. However, I have the belt now. I can cinch it at the waist. Plus, it has pockets. This is something that I purchased off Amazon last year. It has pockets. Right here. Hold on. Ah. It has pockets. So I'm hoping that with the belt and some accessories, this is another casual thing that I can dress up a little on casual Fridays, things like that. This is just undies, socks. This is where I'm sticking these shorts for right now. I did get these really cute lace flats at Kohl's on Friday. Nude heels, black boots, pink pumps, and just other, uh, there's some gray booties down there too. The only pair of shoes that I need now are a pair of black pumps. Uh, this is just dirty clothes. There's just some workout clothes in there. And then in these two bins down here, this is kind of off-season storage and lounging around the house getting sweaty and dirty clothes. That's what that is. I think I want to put together one or two outfits to show you how cute these all came together. What do you think? This is entirely thrifted. It's the blazer with the lace top and the flirty little walking skirt. The only thing missing are my black pumps. I will find them. And I do believe that this is what I'm going to wear for the first day of school. I'm conflicted. Do I use just the top button? Both buttons? Or bottom button? Let me know. Let's do a casual outfit. <laughs> I hope I'm not out of frame. So this is a more casual outfit. 
the gray shirt with the cute sleeves. How cute are these sleeves? I love them so much. Also the size 14 jeans. This is one of my torrid tank tops. I always like to layer. And, ooh, can you see that? That is my entire current workable wardrobe. I had intended in this video to share with you my stack of clothes that I am hanging onto because I absolutely love them and I am hoping that despite them being fast fashion that I will be able to get them altered. It's all of these. <laughs> so I will make that another video for another time. One of my goals was to be able to go to the thrift store and shop in the straight size section. That's exactly what I did on Friday. It hasn't sunk in yet. Please let me know what you think. Talk to me in the section beyond the veil. I will see you again, Dearies, on Friday for my week 12 weigh-in. Bye, Dearies.